So while why don't we is going through their hellhole right now, Daniel C.V. decided to release a song called Bleed On Me. For legal purposes, I'm saying it's released under Daniel C.V., not anything else. But I can't... Basically, Daniel C.V. released it under Daniel C.V., okay? So no legal stuff is being broken here. So I'm going to react to Bleed On Me, and then maybe in this same video I'll do the Hallelujah cover. Sound good? Great, because they're just both on the screen. So we're starting with Bleed On Me first. And there's only a lyric video. Oh, it's just starting. I thought there was an ad. Interesting start. Okay, I like it, I like it. When I look in your eyes, I see that you're trying, you don't gotta tell me I know. When you look in that mind, I know that you're scared of where you have to go. I'm telling sweet eyes, it's being your fun, crying on your bedroom floor. Alright. Wish that you knew that you gotta go through all this on your own. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, that's nice. these parts, but that bleed part, I'm not sure I like that. It sounds better the second time around. Yeah. Because you're expecting it, and it also sounds smoother yeah. the second time through. That is a high frequency. Well, it wasn't a bad song. It was very cute. I expect it to be a little more violent by the fact it was called Bleed On Me. Um, it's cute. It's cute. I like it. Uh, the only part that I didn't like was the first time we did that bleed. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting it and it didn't really tickle my fancy. Um, but the second time around, like we said, it sounded a lot smoother, a lot better. So, overall, good song. Uh, since I see this Hallelujah cover right here, I'll play it. Oh, there's two different versions. Oh, Live in New York, and then the... We're not going to do the Live in New York. Um, Kayla doesn't really like live videos. Okay, so, let's... Let's listen. We all know this from Shrek or whatever. But we all, everybody That's knows it from. Oh, that was, okay. 
I do want to say, before I give my opinion, just in general, it is very hard to do Hallelujah Justice. Mm -hmm. That is a very specific song and it does a lot. Take it from someone who's tried to sing it. I can't do it right. It takes a very, it takes a person with a very certain talent in singing to do it, whether you're a female, male, non-binary, no matter what you identify as, it takes a very, very skilled person to be able to do it. Before this one, I had only heard Jack Avery do it, and Jack Avery really captured it, and he sang it beautifully. If that video is still on YouTube, I recommend you go see it. It's just him playing his guitar near Christmas with, I think, his youngest sister dancing to it. So I really recommend you trying to find that on YouTube. If you can, it's beautiful. But Daniel CV did it more justice than that because he really put his all into it and he did low notes with high notes and knew where to place them and how to make his voice. And when his voice was raspy at that one part, that really complimented it. And it just kind of all came together. So I'm really glad I listened to it. I really like it. Um, I think that was probably the best cover of Hallelujah I've ever heard. Um, and not a lot of people cover the song, so people might say it's not fair that that's deemed as my favorite, because not a lot of people have covered it, but I know in the coming years more people will cover it. That song will never be forgotten. 
Uh, it's such a beautiful song, just in general. Um, and I know it's been around longer. It's just most people would know it from Shrek. That's why I said that. If you didn't know it by the name, you would know it by Shrek, whether you're a millennial or Gen Z. Both of those age groups have seen Shrek. Like, it's a classic. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in whatever video I film next. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I'm getting back to posting because I can finally make a schedule for myself, so. Yep.